What's up, YouTube? Hey, it's uh, it's end of April in Utah, and um, coming to you live. Well, not live, but YouTube. You know what I mean? King's Castle Inflatables. Come check us out. Today is cleaning day after Mud Fest. Yesterday, uh, our first rental went out and it rained all day, and so today we get to blow it up, clean it, and uh, get it ready for the next one. But I'll kind of show you what we're doing here. So we got the tarp out. I rolled it out and blew it off, but there's a lot of debris still stuck to it. Bunch of leaves and a little bit of mud. So we're gonna clean that up. I got some some uh, disinfectant cleaner, just a little light solution. Stuff at Home Depot. I got a little Harbor Freight sprayer. And all I'm doing is I'm going along to all these leaves that have been dried and caked on and spraying a little hot water and solution on there. All right, getting all ready. And then use a push broom or a regular broom. I'm just going to use an old broom I had in the garage. Because if I ruin the good one, my wife will kill me. But I'm just going to go and make sure none of those leaves are going to stay on there to stain the vinyl on the tarp. When we ordered our inflatables from Vivian, hi Vivian, we also ordered these tarps. And so they're heavy duty, made out of the same vinyl that our inflatables are made out of. So I want to keep them staying free as long as possible. We actually ordered green tarps, bright green tarps, but we got blue, but that's okay. No big deal. So I'm going to finish cleaning this one and then I will blow up the combo in the back of the trailer and I'll show you what that one looks like. We'll be back. Here's that Harbor Freight squeegee. Just squeegee most of the water off after I rinsed it and then I used the blower I also just used an old rag to just kind of wipe it down before I use the blower let it dry some air uh, but as you can see I got almost everything out there's a couple of leaf stains on there that you can see I scrubbed pretty hard because they didn't come out but for the most part it's uh, as good as new now I'm going to roll it out or I'm going to bring the combo out and we're going to do the same thing with the combo. We'll be back. Here we go. You can see how wet it is. Pretty good downpour yesterday. Unfortunately, I sat out at his birthday party most of the day. Back. Okay, so we finished. Um, blew up the combo, and it was crazy how much water was inside of it and outside. I should have taken the camera and filmed it, but um, I ended up hooking up two blowers to it. Get a little extra pressure in there to blow some of that water out of those pores. Um, let's go inside and see if there's still any of this uh, kind of coming through. But uh, check this out. So 
So um, when I first blew it up, that ceiling was so filled with water that it was too heavy to inflate. Um, so I did hook up the extra blower. It's off now, I've put it away, but got the one blower up on it now. The nice thing about most of these slides, especially with the pools on, um, is the liners are removable. So I was able to just pull this whole liner out, pull the slide liner out, uh, clean underneath that and dry it all up. Uh, so it's like brand new again, obviously. I used um, that disinfectant and the spray bottle uh, to get inside. I took the shop back in, did a little bit of vacuuming as well, but um, check it out. I'll probably get the blower in here, the leaf blower, and blow some of this residual grass out. But all those seams, all those seams had a lot of water just bubbling out of those seams, but did a pretty good job. And that is how I cleaned our uh, combo bounce house. So hope you guys liked the video. Um, hopefully maybe someone learned something. I know that when I watch some of these, I tend to pick up on something and learn a little bit, but um, definitely hoping to do some more videos. We'll see how this one goes. Um, but thanks everybody.